Today we read John chapter 20 verses 1 and 2 and 11 to 18. And the church remembers Mary Magdalene. Have you ever wondered why it was women who first discovered the empty tomb of Jesus? Who first started to spread the news of the resurrection? The Gospels all agree on this. It's not a story you would make up, as women in those days were not reckoned to be reliable witnesses in a court of law. So if you wanted to strengthen your case, you would tell the tale that the men saw it first. That small fact alone, for me, gives the resurrection narrative some credibility. Mary Magdalene is named in each account, sometimes with various other women with her. Jesus sent Mary to tell the other disciples, that is the men, the news of his rising. So Mary Magdalene was given the title Apostle to the Apostles in the early church, a very great honour. Her name relates to her hometown, Magdala, on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. She became a disciple when Jesus healed her, or exorcised her, according to Luke. She accompanied Jesus on his ministry, helped to support him financially, and was present at the crucifixion, as well as seeing the risen Lord. She must not be confused with other women, other Marys even, in the Gospels. Mary of Bethany, sister of Lazarus, and the repentant woman who anointed Jesus' feet with oil, they were different individuals. There's no evidence either of any romantic connection between her and Jesus. When he says, do not touch me, it's better translated, do not hold on to me, meaning that his risen presence was not to be retained like his previous physical presence. She could not keep him there. He was showing himself momentarily to her, like he did with the disciples from time to time, but it could not be held on to, like many visions granted in scripture. When Jesus was transfigured on the mountain before Peter, James and John, and Peter suggested making booths for Jesus, Moses and Elijah, that may have been an attempt to hold on to, to keep the vision, not lose it. That was impossible and no answer was given. You might be asking yourself, why didn't Mary recognise Jesus at once in the garden? Well, she was weeping hard, probably her head was wrapped in her scarf and speaking to a man she would not have looked up and met his gaze, she would have turned away. So she made the obvious assumption that he was a workman arriving in the dawn light to begin work. It was the sound of his voice that she recognised, and then she must have looked up in wonder and delight. Mary Magdalene is a model disciple in her love and trust and loyalty and devotion. When Jesus spoke her name, she responded at once. Mary, Rabuni.